Hello ladies, I hope you're well. Welcome to a brand new vlog. My hair is a little bit crazy today. We have low shedding. <laughs> um, and I just arrived in Houghton because I have the most exciting aesthetics appointment today. And of course, of course, I'm going to share the whole procedure with you because I've always been very transparent with what I get done. Um, this is something very new to me. I don't have any tattoos, so I don't even know what it's going to feel like. I'm not going to get it tattoo but i'm gonna do like lip blushing lip tattooing with erica davies aesthetics i've always wanted to do this and i've never came across someone that does it in the way that i actually do my lipstick so i'm gonna bring you along for the whole procedure recovery and before and afters and everything so i'm so excited so let's head inside you always dreamed of making it big In your town, people had a certain walk and a certain frown. Steady and heavy, or younger than twenty. Get your way Useful tricks Once you get the taste of it You lay off the bricks Oh my goodness I am in love It's sad to think that it's gonna fade But it's definitely gonna fade Um and obviously like peel if you've ever had micro blade I can't talk when my mouth is so numb <laughs> ah, so I think let me drive and then I will update you once I can feel something on my lips I literally can't feel them the numbing cream is so strong and I barely felt a thing if I felt something it was like a scratch but no pain absolutely no pain at all um and yeah it was about two to three hours in total but I will update you a little bit later when I can feel my lips you'll reach your desire Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream oh my goodness but I feel like on the camera it's 
coming out a little bit more peachy but in real life and as i'm looking in the mirror it's very much like a brownie nude mauve shade and it will get lighter in the next coming days which i will share with you so this is I would say like day two because yesterday was day one and all of yesterday my lips were numb that's why i didn't vlog anything yesterday and um you know, as the life kind of came back it just felt very warm like i had something very spicy to eat it took me back to spicy noodle challenge <laughs> and my lips were just on fire um but yeah they were completely fine they feel fine today i feel like my top lip is a little bit swollen um, but they just feel sunburned that's all they don't feel sore or uncomfortable um, they do feel you know not like my normal lips but they are healing and they will change day by day and I'm excited to share that with you I did my hair and I feel like I'm having a real Marilyn Monroe moment and I just can't believe that I don't have anything on my lips and I'm gonna be wearing a mask later when I take my mask off I'm gonna be you know fully glam still but anyways i went to guess yesterday after my erica davis appointment did i say davies i meant davis um to pick up an outfit for an event tonight and we're gonna get dressed and of course i'm gonna bring you to the event with me so i didn't pick up jewelry yesterday but i have some pieces in my collection that i really want to wear tonight how stunning are these earrings and i think i'm gonna wear like a bracelet. Ooh, love my gold. So pretty. I feel like this lighting right now is more or less a better representation of what it really looks like. It's like a mauve nudie brown blush kind of shade. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I need to take my hair out soon, but I want to get dressed first. And of course, we are going to be wearing all gifts. Like I said, I have a couple of pieces in my wardrobe. I haven't worn this beautiful bag in such a long time. So I think she's going to look perfect. You'll see in a second with the look I have planned. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. How stunning is this color? So it's like a mauve rosy shade. It's suede. And then it has the cinched in belt and then the buttons are my favorite. It's like a vintage, like a vintage button. It's so pretty. And then the pure resistance. I actually don't have anything like this. off I should just let them fall off naturally so I'm keeping my lips moisturized with gloss which you're allowed to do and a Laneige sleeping mask
Good morning, babies. There is not a cloud in the sky today. It's the most perfect weather for our Easter family lunch and I'm so excited to share a little bit of what we get up to on Easter in this vlog. Um, I've been prepping the lunch all morning so I'm like full of sauce. I'm about to shower and get ready for the day but before I put makeup on I wanted to show you what I look like without makeup. I look a little bit crazy <laughs> and um, I think I'm on day five now. I haven't been vlogging for like a day or two because um, my lips pretty much just stayed the same but now they are peeling a little bit but I can't like take it off so I'm just like moisturizing 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 mm! crusty I am so excited for today um, I've been like prepping the house for Easter and this is the weekend we get to like, you know, well I'm going to keep all of the decorations up until the end of April but this weekend is the weekend we get to enjoy it. My lips are so stiff but I'm trying not to think, I think like today um, is kind of like the worst day, like day four, five and six are probably the worst days because that's when you're peeling but if you take off like the little scabs that's when the color comes off so I'm trying not to like touch it and just keeping it moisturized but yeah I'm about to get dressed and head to the airport um we're hosting our family for the first time and I'm so excited but we have a surprise up our sleeve um the family member that got married recently I shared a little bit of the, the wedding in the vlog we are flying her to Joburg as a surprise because she very rarely gets to visit her family. She's been staying there for a few years and um, no one knows about it. And next week is Brain's mom's big 60th and we're having like a big thing with the whole family and like a bunch of their friends obviously because um, it's a big birthday, a big milestone. And she gets to enjoy that with us. Um, ah, I can't wait to see their faces but let's, let's get dressed together. So, um... I got something at Guess um, at the event and then I also uh, went into Zara the same day I went to Guess and today I'm going to wear, since Brent's gran can't be here, she gave me her pearls in 2019 just before she passed, um, I think like a year or a year and a half ago before she passed so I'm gonna wear her pearls today to have her with us and I know that they're always with us um, but I like to wear this on special occasions and then I always have my mom's necklace on I never take this off I always have it on um, so yeah that's just like a little little special element to my outfit today but I got this really cute sweater I'm obsessed with pearls and Brent's grand knew that <laughs> um, and we had such a good relationship um, so when I saw this I fell in love and when I saw it I kind of thought it looked like bunny ears do you do you, do you see it do you see the bunny ears <laughs> so I don't know if I should wear this today I think I want to wear this today or this because this is so Easter. I feel like this pastel color is so Easter. But I also got um, a couple of staples that I really love. I always get asked where I buy like most of my like basics and things like that. I love Zara and H&M. I bought a couple of things from H&M that I'll probably show you a little bit later. But I love these pants. I have them in red. I have like a lighter beige color um, of this exact one because it comes with a belt and I decided to get the black one and um, so I wanted to wear the beige one today with either this or this
in this top because I absolutely love it. But I wanted to give you an update on my lips. It is now 10 days post, like, procedure, I guess. Um, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. I just did my makeup and I just have Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream, which is like a clear gloss. And this is what my lips look like. I am just obsessed Givenchy event and I'm just about to take my makeup off not that I have a lot on because um, the makeup artist did such a natural look on me and that's kind of like the the style of this foundation is obviously buildable but yeah they launched a brand new foundation and a powder and it was just such a treat we got sent home with a couple of things so I'll show you that in a second but I wanted to bring you along on this event for um, the sake of showing you what my lips look like without, you know, makeup on and what they look like after three weeks. It's been three weeks since I went for my treatment and I'm around about halfway. So I don't want you to wait another three weeks for this vlog to go up. So I wanted to just quickly answer some questions that I think you might have. Firstly, on the color, it, we're around about halfway, like three weeks after I got them done. I feel like this clip though looks a little bit orange and sometimes with lighting, things just look different on camera. So I'm gonna show you like a close up of what I feel like it looks like when I look in the mirror. And I'm obsessed. I have another appointment um, in a couple of weeks, I think like a month and a half, round about June, because um, she's quite booked up. <laughs> because I feel like depending on how it heals, I would like to just perfect it and touch it up a little bit. If it doesn't lighten in the center, I probably would get like a little bit of a rosy tint, but you don't have to do a follow-up appointment. And what I think is incredible is anyone of any skin tone can do this treatment. So if you have like really pigmented lips, um, if you have a darker skin tone, you can have it lightened a little bit and add like a little bit of a healthy rosy tint in there and it'll look beautiful. If you have like pale lips, you can just add like a natural, you can do however much you want or as little as you want and that's what's incredible about this treatment. I just showed Erica photos of like the lipstick that I normally do and she kind of just copied those colors. We used three or four different colors and just kind of um, ombre and like faded it in. I'm so excited to see what it's going to look like at the end. I feel like the number one question on everyone's lips <laughs> was definitely cost. So it is 4,000 Rand and it lasts five to seven years. I was not expecting that. I was like, oh my goodness, that is insane. Just like considering the amount of money we're wasting on lipstick and also uh, I'm still going to buy lipstick <laughs> so, because lipstick is life. Um, and just like the convenience with masks. I mean, I just, the convenience and the minimal effort I've had the past couple of weeks with wearing a mask and then taking it off and then I'm like always saying, oh, let me just fix my lips quickly and then I do the liner again and then the lips again. It's just 
so incredibly convenient and I can't recommend this enough. As I said, no pain. If I uh, missed any of your questions, if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments down below. But I think I want to show you what I got at the Givenchy event. So the main focus of the event was around the foundation and the new, um, like I think I'm pronouncing it right, Prisme Libre. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that, but all of these products over here. So I went home with a foundation as well as a powder. It has like different colors that mixes into the most beautiful setting powder. So that is the powder. It is so pretty. I can't wait to use it um, with my makeup tomorrow. And then oh, the packaging for Givenchy is just absolutely luxurious like luxe on another level this is the skin caring glow foundation i have shade um 2w110 so just look at that and because why not an extra bag of goodies Oh my goodness, I see a fragrance, a blush, a mascara, a lippy. Oh my goodness, how cute is this bag? And then, <laughs> I know you lippies are probably like, but Jess, what did we get in the guest package? <laughs> because I never showed you that. Oh my goodness, I already started wearing whatever was in here. But I got some, the other one is quite similar to this one. It's just like a bangle, but it's like half, it's like thinner. I already started wearing it because it's so pretty. This one is just as gorgeous, but the other one is a bit more dainty, which is my fave. So I got two bracelets and then obviously two, one for me, one for Brain. We basically just got these fragrance sets. So one for him and one for me. <laughs> and that's it from me as well. I hope you ladies enjoyed this vlog. I'm so excited to see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments, would you ever do like a lip blush or like this lip tattoo nano whatever you want to call it it's not really a tattoo because it doesn't last forever um so i think that's why they're not called a lip tattoo but let me know if you would ever do something like this for me i've always wanted to do it but i've just never come across someone that does it in the way or like can do it in the way that i do my lipstick so I'm really happy and I hope you like it let me know what you think if you think it's pretty if you what your thoughts and I will see you in the next one Mwah. bye ladies